The Battle of Britain was a story of bravery in the summer skies, of RAF airmen who took on the might of the Luftwaffe to defend these shores and prevent Hitler's planned invasion. Fewer than 3,000 airmen, mainly flying Spitfires and Hurricanes, made up Churchill's famous few, who flew the Battle of Britain in 1940. Many were based here at RAF Kenley, one of the best known of all the airfields defending London. One of the few with close links to Kenley was squadron leader Tom Gleave, a hurricane pilot of 253 Squadron who was shot down and badly burned on 31st of August 1940. It was discovering a wealth of unpublished material and photographs of Gleave while researching a new book that inspired author and historian Dilip Sarkar to set up this new project. Battle of Britain, the People's Project, aims to uncover more of the untold stories, not just about Kenley and the airmen who flew from this airfield, but about the whole of the Battle of Britain. I'm interested in the human experience of it all, whether that's from the air crew perspective, the ground crew perspective, eyewitnesses under the bombs, schoolboys, uh, and plane spotter diaries, diaries of civilians, whatever it might be. It was a huge, huge experience in the summer of 1940, and there's still so much of it that remains to be documented. Repeatedly, we have traced and found all kinds of people, survivors from this, this epic conflict, this epic, uh, unprecedented summer. And they passed from us now, but in family archives all over the world, I dare say, material still exists, which we are constantly still discovering. And the thing about this project is it is a call to action because let's get this material properly archived, properly catalogued, properly uh, uh, assessed so that it can be absorbed and included in this new, incredibly important official history for the Battle of Britain Memorial Trust and National Memorial to the Field. Seven volumes covering the whole big story. And to be talking to you now at a place like this, this is Kenley Airfield in Surrey, one of the most important fighter stations defending London that was absolutely hammered in the Battle of Britain. Uh, a hugely famous Royal Air Force fighter station before the war, uh, and it has become absolutely legendary. So being at Kenley Airfield, one of the most important fighter stations defending London during the Battle of Britain, when we think of the incredible people who have served and flown from here, uh, and the incredible experiences and stories that, that emanate from this and all of these other places like Biggin Hill and Tangmere and so on. But I always think about one person when I come to Kenley uh, and walk with ghosts, I think. Uh, Tom Gleave, squadron leader Tom Gleave, uh, in command of 253 Squadron, flying hurricanes here at Kenley, very experienced pre-war pilot. Uh, the CO had actually been shot down on the morning of the 31st of August 1940 and Tom uh, then took the squadron over uh, and he shot down himself that afternoon. The previous day, having claimed five German fighters, Messerschmitt 109s destroyed, although he was only credited, I think, with one and four probables, so he could have been an ace in a day. But he's horrendously burnt uh, and bails out, survives and ultimately is treated by Sir Archibald Mackindo at the Burns Unit of Royal Victoria Hospital East Grinstead and becomes a founder member of the Guinea Pig Club, which is for burned airmen treated by uh, Mackindo. So Tom Glee, very famous airman, survived the war, later became uh, a, a historian to the Battle of Britain Fighter Association and a cabinet office historian uh, and wrote his own book, I Had a Row with a German one of the first wartime memoirs published in 1941. Now you'd think that somebody famous like Tom Glee, who'd been on This Is Your Life and so on and so forth, there'd be nothing else to say, nothing else to do. Well, how wrong can you be? So uh, talking to Tom's daughter, Angela, uh, and son-in-law, Tim, we, we end up with, with this massive collection of material, the original uh, unedited manuscript of his book, 
his unpublished 500 page memoir, which we can now work with. And this is incredible material, photographs that have been unseen, you know, and this is not an untypical scenario that we we find as researchers actively pursuing new material and new stories. So this material is out there uh, and this is really what has inspired the Battle of Britain, the People's Project, to get uh, a, a, a much better idea of who is out there with what material so we can collate it and include it in the new history.